Hey yo together and very welcome to the start of two crazy replays. I really should take a break, but I'm not going to do that. We are today on Cactus Valley Ladder Edition with a TVT. So now I will cast the remaining TVTs and then the TVPs and then we're done. So hope you're looking forward to that one because we have spawning in the right top position. It is the Red Terran playing for, if I'm not mistaken, active gaming. If I'm mistaken, please correct me. It is Eli. AG should be active gaming, but I'm not sure. But it should be active gaming, I guess. He's playing against me, the blue Terran, spawning in the left bottom position. It is Alex Usher. Woo! And yep, that's activity cross position on Cactus Valley. So. Oh, gives me shivers because that one could take for a very very long time but maybe not we will see we see barracks first for both guys me and Eli while Eli is going for a 12 gas and delays, uh, delays with that his SUV and for me so far no gas uh, just the SUV scout will scout that it's cross position and I guess I will go for a 15 gas there we go BAM 15 gas so with the 12 gas out of e-life I guess we will see most likely a reaper because Benji would be gas first most likely I mean it can be everything of course it could it could also be a reactor. But here we see the Reaper. Which is really good. So the Reaper, not too good on that map I would say. Uh, there are other openings you should play on large maps like that. I guess economic... Uh, economic? 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 Economic ways builds like command center first or 15 gas, which was what I was doing. Things like that. A Reaper, a Reaper having a Reaper is nice. Funny thing is, his Reaper expand gets the command center earlier than my 15 gas. Wow, I didn't think about that. That's very strange. Let's see. But yeah, at, at roughly 20 supply, I should get the command center. Hmm. Okay, that was that was very interesting here. Very interesting. So we are Reaper into factory. His factory is also a bit earlier, uh, but his second gas is not. So I guess we will see Hellions, most likely, because no gas, uh, just one gas to be fair. So. Starport, switch a Rooney with the reactor. Oh, there's the second gas. Okay. So then it could be tanks. Maybe. Or Hellions and Benji. We will see. Maybe a Raven. Uh, the Reaper got one kill so far. Maybe one. Uh, SV. Scouts everything here. Might get a kill. No. Uh, close one. Should have just kept shooting. I guess there's a reason. But yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah, Hellions. But with the second gas and the tech lab, I guess you will see a Raven. So, Hellion Raven. Because with uh, one gas, it's enough to get out the uh, Hellions, the Reaper FE into Hellion reactor stuff, and then the, uh, the Medivac for drops. But with that. Yeah, look at that. No stim. Uh. This could be mech as well. So I scout that with the scan and I see the Hellions, I see the reactor and I see that. So I know it could be Benji, delayed Benji of course, but still. Or maybe Raven, uh, but I am safe. I should be safe. I got the Raven, my own Raven on the way. And behind that I guess I will produce uh, Viking. Uh, and the Widow Mine and the Marines of course help a lot out as well. So Eli staying here 
very defensively. Moving out with the marine is a strange decision, uh, decision, considering he got the Hellions, which are faster and could secure the Xanagracho. Imagine I got now uh, one marine there, mine would win, that would suck. Yeah, look at that! <laughs> look at that. Uh, timings, if... if, pro if ooh. Ah, oh, I lost that one. Will I send another one? Most likely not. Mm, oh. Okay. Uh, no Viking so far. The Benji is on the way already. And behind that... I don't see... Oh, a third command center! And a Raven. So that's very greedy. But, as I said, on a map that big, go for it. Uh, you can do it. Ooh, the Benji! Taken a lot of damage there from this widow mine. A lot of damage. So uh, cloak is there. Gets one kill and a second one. Uh, and kills one marine. Maybe another one. No, not quite yet. Uh, Oh no, oh no. Wow. Not bad, the Benji, not too bad, I have to say, that was nice. And we see additional factories going up here for E-Life, so this is Mech. And I have no clue. No, I don't know. Uh, this Benji, really annoying. Might get more kills here. That's another SCV. Uh, cloaks here again, decloaks because runs out of energy, but got another kill. It's not bad, so I, I would say the Benji paid for itself a bit. Uh, as long as it remains active. If, if he doesn't lose it, then that is really helpful for him. He should go back and repair it, in my opinion. Uh, it's good against tank storms if you have the upper hand. I wonder what that is about? Ah, yeah, okay, I see. Please don't tell me I let the medivac tank. Please don't tell me I let the medivac tank. No, oh, look at that, so smart. Oh, uh, maybe. Woo! Headshot. So there's the Benji. Oops. A lot of Hellions. Blue Flame. Is Blue Flame finished? No, no Blue Flame currently for Eli. Uh, but he will kill that poor little Marine. And I see all the Hellions. Okay. Currently a lot of Hellions, uh, 12, 10, 10, 12 Hellions, there are still the Banshee, very, can be very annoying, so and I'm moving out here, I saw all the Hellions, so moving out, yeah I got the Raven, so I got the auto turrets and they are good against Hellions, but I wonder if I should take this fight, mm. he's producing another factory there, going up to 4, I guess you wanna have 5, oh this Banshee, 9 kills! Okay, not bad at all. In total, he killed 8 worker and 1 marine with the Benji. That's good. So the marines spot this move out and all those Hellions, they don't have blue flame. That's... Uh, that's... Mm. Oh, now they have blue flame. Okay. Totally missed that. So I see here no base taken, which is good for me, but I see him moving across the map, which... It's scary, this army is scary, it's just a lot of hell, but they are tanky as hell. They are as fast as a marine without stim. And with the vikings and the raven utility there and some tanks, they are very scary. This marine will confirm that this base has been taken. Ooh, a drop loading in. A lot of drop, ooh, doom drop. Ah, I'm going for a doom drop here. There's my base taken as well. Income wise, I'm not looking too good. I was very sloppy with the SCV. Also, I lost 8, so. But yeah, that was. With 8 SCVs, I would be fairly equal, but. Eh, currently, I'm not, so I have to fight myself back into this game. Currently, I'm, I'm behind. Also, in, in upgrades, 1 1 is fine against 0 1, but Mac. Mac is Mac, you know. 
They don't need that many upgrades. So does he see it? Oh, the Hellion! Oh, maybe. Complete. But his army is quite out of position. What? Ooh, two Hellions here. They could kill all the mules. Ooh, which is exactly what he's doing. There's the Doom Drop. Uh, losing the Medivax here. But that drop is massive. I can deal a lot of damage. Oh, I get the command center, I guess. Let's zoom out here a little bit. There we go. Now I should attack here with a double medivac drop. That would win me the game. Uh, the Raven gets down and only gets two auto turrets placed. Uh, but the tank's dealing a lot of damage here for me. Which is quite good. So I killed the command center. I killed one add-on. And overall I traded quite nicely, but I lost the Raven. And he lost his Raven as well, so then then it's good. But I didn't reset the siege tank count, I just traded against Hellions and Hellbats. That's not good. Sure, killing the command center is nice, especially because Mac needs the gas. Uh, but he just produces two new ones and that's it. Oh, that small force, totally vulnerable. Uh, he doesn't see it. But I see his army and I'm like, oh wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I can't fight there, but he doesn't know. Now he knows. I'm still on three bases. He's on three bases soon as well again. And that's very... look at the supply. It's not looking good for me here. Especially because I don't have to extend our watch time. Bam! Poor little guy. He scans. I wonder why he scans. He should just grab the watchtower, but... Ah, he can't because of the tank. Yeah, okay. Now he sees that there is nothing, and smartly he knows where I'm going. Oh, maybe. Uh, yes, 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 okay. <coughs> oh no, he goes for a counter attack. Um, I thought I could intercept his army, but I was so wrong. Mm, I don't know. That's looking really weird here. He will kill all those SCVs. That's, that's massive. And he also might get the order command in return. Which is really bad for me. Oh, he killed so many CVs. The order command will die for sure. And this army was so inactive. I just I, I could have gone into the main base, just kill everything. Uh, instead I go here for the tank and kill all those CVs. That's also massive. Especially if I could get the order command. And those marines are two two marines. Uh, 8 to 2 marines. Uh, no, that's not gonna happen. Uh, the Marauder. Get the tanks, get the second one as well. But I lost a lot of Marauder there in the return. And I wasn't able to pit over the command. I can kite like crazy for a long time here against the Helvet. But with the Viking support, I will just lose all the Medivacs here for free. Very bad control. Scan goes down. And yeah, that's. That's not looking good here for me. I mean, I got 3-3 on the way. And I somehow cancelled this plus 2 once. I guess I killed the armory once, but... Still, this, this army is very oh, powerful. So many tanks. 15 tanks. But nothing to buffer. He sieges up, and it looks like I'm going in. Oh, that's not good. Losing all the fire for free. I should have backed off, of course. And that's not good. He tries to kill the tank, but loses all the helmets for that one tank. That's bad. Uh, being greedy, taking a fourth base here. Hopefully he doesn't notice. And he's back on track with his eco. Quite even game. Income? Ah, it's looking good for me now. And I got 3-3 on the way. But not too much gas, so I can't do the switch now. Not, not, not quite yet. I need more time. And a little bit more gas to make the switch able to happen without dying straight to our attack, of course. So morphing that one into a planetary. Nice, where are the cannons? There they are. Coolio. Uh, scan goes down somewhere. Hmm. Okay, he doesn't know about that base. But I guess he's opting for this one. 
Ah, there's nothing to defend! Those marines could deal a lot of damage. That's unfortunate. If I would play mag, I would have one, two tanks, one tank, one turret, and two to four helmets there. But he's losing all those, all those SCDs. And potentially, the command center as well. Oh no, he saves it. Barely. Is he? Yes. But lost. he lost a lot. I would say. Uh, that was the one. Yeah, a lot of worker killed there. Income, not looking too good for him. Mm, he got helmet drops there. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! All my army is in those medivacs. And... Uh, I, okay, he got no Vikings left. Those tanks are really helping here with the help of the Marauder. Uh, those medivacs. Oh, one got down. He killed a full medivac, I guess. Mm, those tanks. They have high ground vision because of the medivacs here. And they clear everything. Uh, that's a counter attack. But he, he just has tanks and... LOL. Oh, now, now he will lose the command center for sure. Yes, and all those SCVs. And oh, he doesn't see up there. Losing all the tanks. Uh, Marauder, good unit. And now it's looking bad for him. Uh, he lost the base. I'm not sure if he can hold this. With the tanks, the, the upgrades aren't too good. Uh, I guess I broke him. With that small force, I broke him. There's one tank back there. Uh, I'm not focus firing it. Going for the depot instead. Which is nice, but it doesn't help me. So he can hold it. Barely. But lost a lot. Uh, his income, oh, it's evened out. Look at that, 41 against 41. But I got four bases here, and he's on three. This one barely mining, mines mined out as well here. So let's say three base against two base mining. Yeah. Yeah, well, news, you know. A very low eco game now. Although he has a lot of minerals, he doesn't spend them. Going for Hellions here, not really helpful. The tanks get taken down. And... Yes, he got the planetary, but... Hmm. And still, this is heart of the swarm, so you can't just pick up Medivax, uh, tanks into the Medivax and relocate them easily. You need to unsiege, and... Ooh, that pick up. Very nice done there. Still losing the tank to the tank drop. Uh, oh, the Hellions there. It's so close, but I think I got it. The reinforcements are coming, more and more Marines, Hellbats, uh, Medivacs, Tanks and Marauder. They are the Hellbats for him, but... What is this army? Not looking too good. I guess that's it, going for the mineral line. Ah, oh, this ta oh, that was a bad rally point. I'm scanning up there, just for the tank, get, get it. And all those SCVs are attacking now. Ooh, massive splash damage. And he scans. Hidden base, he asks. Nope. This base is not really hidden. And there we go. I would say. And yes. Don't tell your opponent anything as long as the game isn't finished. Because, uh, you know, he could have, maybe there is a dropship waiting for you to, to tell him the location. You don't know. Normally, normally I would tell those guys. See, I, I, I am that kind of person who's like, yeah, okay, I tell you. But, um, no, it, it just backfires. Because then they are, oh, maybe I can win and be that and rebuild. Even though they are definitely defeated, you give them a way back into the game. And it happened to me sometimes that they abuse it, my honesty, I would say, or my stupidity, where I'm just stupid and tell them. So, and they abuse that, of course, they want to win. Sure, me too. So, nah, don't tell them. Tell them to watch the replay. If, they, if, if there is one guy, and I played this guy in Legacy of the Void lastly, 
uh, like three days ago or so. And I have one replay, I guess. I guess. I have one replay. It was Terran versus Terran. And he asked me after one stupid all in from him. He asked me, oh, how much supply? Maybe I leave. And I told him my supply and he didn't leave. And the game went on for like 20 more minutes. So then I played him in Legacy of the Void and he asked me again after his failed all in because he's bad. No, not really, but he failed us all in, I hope. And he asked the supply and I guess I didn't tell him. I guess I didn't tell him. I Yeah, I said too much. Supply too much. Too much supply for you. You should go out. The next time... Uh, be, maybe the next time he asks me. Because it was 50 to... Or, or 45 to 70 supply. I was the 70 supply. Maybe next time I will just say then 85. Just a little bit of lying. You know, a bit, little bit of misinformation. But not too uh, out of the out of the mind so that if you say yeah i'm on 120 after you fail on in on minute six or seven that's very unusual even for legacy of the void macro that's just not gonna happen so yeah but a little bit of lying a little bit of misinformation just to yeah tease them a little bit and maybe they leave but yeah don't tell your opponent anything until the game is won that's it with that game. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I wish you as always a very nice day and goodbye.